can spread. Hey, what's up? I've been trying to call you for like the last uh, two days, I think. Yeah, I called you just a few times now, but you were busy. I've uh, no longer got my old phone. Oh, shit. Okay. Bones told me he was going to send my parole notice by SMS, so I threw it away. In fact, it's probably over here somewhere. Anyway, how's business going? I noticed there's a FOIA legislation that doesn't appear to really create anything. Uh, what do you mean? Well, the problem with these things is they make legislation, but they don't make the entity itself. Who's going to run that? Who have they talked to? What people are even going to process this? Nobody's going to manage that, and you know it. Well, for me, it's a start. Um, gives me a legislative leg to stand on uh, so that if things are not done, uh, you can bring them to court and then force right. a hand. You would think so, but do you remember my court proceeding? Yeah, about Statement that. Statement of charges are meant to be fact. And it says in the Constitution that every filing of paper in a due process needs to be correct. It was not correct. I asked for a mistrial. If they can enforce the Constitution on something in which could put me in jail for seven goddamn days and a $100,000 fine, all you were doing is beating a dead cat. Um, did you know... Uh do you know about Carmine and Bobby? Vaguely. Um, Depends. What do you mean? Well, they were uh, the wardens of the DOC. Yes, I'm aware of that. Uh, do you know what happened to them? Well, I know part of the story. Yes, they were forced in there after the mayor and the council took the land from the state and gave it to two delinquents, which is technically not so bad, but they prevented EMS and police from responding in which people died, which is gross negligence and another mm. failure of the Constitution. And uh, have you heard about them getting fired? No. I looked at the documentation and legislation, and from my understanding, nothing has counted that <laughs> act. Yes. I just learned that today. They've been quote-unquote fired for three weeks now right but no one said hey let me put a sentence in here with a timestamp that's what i was curious so, about people have implied that it was revoked but i don't see anything to say that and if your law is two legislative authorities and there's no other law around it has to be written for it to be law or removed to be not law which means that when I get a call from someone inside Bolingbrook and they ask me questions that pertain to a court case they want to bring up, I can't get any answers. Is there some leaflet somewhere <laughs> hidden that has, like, shit that I know nothing about? For example, hmm. how did they get fired? Who decided it? How do I lean on that? Do wait, I just go to court second. and then wait for them to just pull something out of their ass? What were the laws in the DOC part? Were they not allowed to question people in there? Because I was questioned by the police about my case. Um, wait, what do you mean? While I was in there, Max, his devil wife, and the soy boy prosecutor came in and talked to me. Threatened me. Well, I wasn't threatened, but they had a gun. Um, well, I know they're getting impeached. I know there's some other movement happening in that respect that kind of puts them in a very negative criminal light. Um, the answer is no, but, uh, you know, at, at this stage, I don't really know what is and is not corruption because it's effectively not defined. So, um, well, kind of, I mean, it depends on the impeachment stance and who's uh, impeachable, I guess. There's impeachment inside the, uh, the, 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 the documentation in, in the Constitution, but I believe that's implied maybe on the council. I can't remember. But this is the problem. We have an impeachment process. 
that isn't actually created. It's written, but the 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 the, the part that is the actual impeachment the impeachment isn't there. It's the same with parole. It's the same with medical health. It's the same with goddamn bail systems. It's the same with the paperwork systems that are meant to come from the, the court proceedings. Nothing is created, and this is why I look at this four-year process, and I know it's going to be a pain in the ass. It's not going to fix anything. It is no, broken. it's not. It isn't created. It is written. Um, I don't disagree. Uh, the original intent was to push this forward and then it just kind of magically, so hey, yes, I don't want to, I understand what you're saying, but remember, there's also the DOC thing in there that is still there and you expect them to enforce it and create it to happen. They even wrote in their own laws that they were responsible for the DOC and its creation and making sure it worked. And here we are, no DOC for months. I went in there and everybody had a phone, weapons. He even asked me if I wanted a gun. Then the next day, mm. the police all went in there, raided it, uh, took everyone's possessions, and I don't think they even had a search warrant. The entire police force raided the jail. The way that it was explained to me yesterday, because I did bring up that very point, is... I was rather confused how we, how the FOIA thing just popped into existence. Uh, since fundamentally, it seems to kind of be against the first article of the Constitution, which infers that the justices oversee this stuff. But right. there's not really any uh, formality. It's just someone could just pull it out of thin air. So does that mean another justice can come in and just like change shit? Where does well, the consul sit in? What about these processes? I think at the end of it, when I asked the simple question that should this have formally, because I felt like I was wasting someone's time, quite frankly, um, <clears throat> should I have pushed this to the console? The answer I got was, well, they're only involved in manip municipal laws. Now, I don't know if that was tongue in cheek, but uh... it just made my brain crack because none. Of, where is any of it written? Municipal is just, you know, in meaning that the law is created by a smaller entity than the state itself. That doesn't mean that legislation, uh, when it passes, isn't passed to the state and signed off. Everything still goes through the state as legislation. It is implied that we are a municipal government with the power from the state to create legislation that the state will sign off on. There's a very, uh, very, very, very big disconnect in what these people understand in the power that they do. If you have the authority to create legislation from the state, it doesn't matter if you're a municipal government. It doesn't matter if you're a mayor. It doesn't matter if you're a commissioner. It doesn't matter if you're a civilian. It's irrelevant what entity you are. The authority is the same thing that is passed on. It just changes the name. If you're a justice, if you're a council, the name is irrelevant. Municipal means nothing. Is he? Are they insane? Are they insane? Why would they think the name of something would change the authority in which it comes from? Is uh no? I think um, I think there's a lot of um, bullshit that's covering what. I read as complacency and laziness. Yes. Um, and the it that is evidenced by, you know, well, the lack of simple updates. At some well, stage, this DOC thing happened. They were fired. It required one sentence to be written so all knew what 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 what, what was true. Uh, but that didn't occur. And a sentence is not asking for a lot. God damn it, it's my parole officer. One moment. I'm in the middle of a meeting. Stop calling me, you piece of shit. I called once. I'm here to tell you about your... Sorry, go ahead. Motherfucker. Am I hey, I'm not going to be around today. Parole? I'm just trying... Yeah, I'm just... Yeah, I'm trying to let you know. I got the answer. Um... It will be about actually exactly three hours from now, uh, and oh. you'll be done with parole. 
Just so you know, I'm carrying a firearm. I found it again. I'm bringing it to the... Oh, never mind. I threw it. It's here at the courthouse. I threw it in the bushes. It's dark. I can't see. I'm, I'm not on duty. I'm, I, I okay. just am letting well, you know I about your parole. You to know I will 911 and have a I cop. I threw the weapon I, away, I, and I'm not taking it to the police station for safety. You should bring it to the police station. Bones is an idiot. I think, um, really, you know, no matter how eloquently you might word, uh, anyone could word something, at the end of the day, you know, actions and uh, what you produce is is um, the only indicator of success, I think. Right. Um, and when those things aren't happening and questions are kind of being taken with a level of aggression, uh, that to me is just kind of indicative of um, exactly. What I've sort of—I I already know exactly the thing you're saying. I feel like we go through the same job procedures, security. the same issues, the same understandings of the problems. We see them. We see what the issue is, and the resolve is the harder, more complex part. I um, I was going to say to you, you know, we have Bailey. I've even spoken to Angel, even Gatsby. And these people have also talked back to me in ways, but the way they talk to me is like exactly what the philosophy of uh, law is about. It's about listening, getting perspective, and trying to understand what is the most reasonable, rather than thinking you're right about everything without talking to, you know, everybody to understand, you know, where direction is. That's, that's, that's how we move forward. It needs to be a parlay of some kind. Yes. Something. People just need to be held accountable for everything. And these people aren't. If there was impeachments that worked, if these judges were elected, if the sheriff and the commissioner was elected and everybody of a power could lose their power, they would fear the people. And fearing the people... Uh, tends to make you do what the people want or what the people need as a whole. I think there's only one solution at the end of the day is somebody still needs to become mayor, get legislation passed that enforces some sort of, uh, you know, if you say impeachment, there needs to be an understanding of how it's defined and how it all works with everybody, not something that's vague, stupid doesn't make sense and can be swayed any way they want it to be swayed. Yeah, anyone should be able to read it and know exactly what the expectation is. Exactly. And I get the idea of law having holes or, you know, uh, never being perfect, but there's a big difference from, uh, you know, not perfect law and law that is just dog shit. I, I, I couldn't agree more. I think, um, what uh, I've slowly been kind of moving my mind towards is uh, I think the city council right now, um, they write legislation, they pass it internally, which inherently I don't see as being democratic since it requires no input after the election. Yes. Um, I think the city council instead should be uh, swayed constantly by public opinion exactly. and uh priority should be made and the council should primarily be focused on writing legislation that they believe to be passed upon a certain amount of vote um internally it should be put up to the public so i had the this public theory would then mm. so it was similar to this actually but uh it's all about entities and who can vote right why is it we rely on a council of people when we could just have the police department, the sheriff's department, the hospital, the DOJ, and the mayor in his office, plus maybe the lawyers, and then the people as an entity in which can vote to con contest anything or change anything uh, as a bill. And any bill that is brought forward is not signed until it goes through the process of contesting from every other entity and then afterwards, if it passes, the state will sign it unless it's contested. I absolutely agree. 
The only, um, I think, counter would be if something was, let's say, very pro-police. Yes. Would people vote for it. But the thing is, that can easily be resolved by um, referendums, you know, where you it is up to the consul to make sure that things are packaged together in a way that it is to pass. And that is the success of a consul, is getting things passed all the way through. Exactly. Which means that they have to write it well. Otherwise, That's if the, shit keeps uh, falling flat, that means they're ineffective. I don't know if the council is the ones to do that, though. I still feel like, basically, if somebody's to pass a police law, and obviously, this well, criminals wouldn't vote, by the way. It would be a likely non-felon for the last, you know, 14 days could vote or something like that for the, for the people contesting. But um, imagine, for instance... If this law was changing a police SOP, it would be automatically processed if the police were to push it through. But it still could be contested afterwards uh, at fee if, if people thought it was too improper. Um, and with the DOJ, they could pass through, you know, precedents and other things without contestion. But once it's passed, we could also contest from any other, you know, uh, place. So us as civilians or the police themselves so each entity would have its authority to pass its core you know design and it would be mm. up to the people at that point to you know contest it afterwards and ask if it is worth the value but what this does do is the doj can't go and write a thing to change all of how you know the health works without uh their 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 opinion on it so if it's out of their so-called jurisdiction or area of expertise, um, it would always be straight for contest and anybody could contest it uh, if it was, you know, put through as a bill. I, th I, I mean, think that would be good. That's what I think it would, would be, be the fairest, at least. Or at least somewhere where that's like the goal and, uh, you know, taking steps towards it. Right. I think even right now when I ask myself the question, and I can't even get a straight answer for it, no matter who I ask. Um, and I went right to the top. Is when you look at legislation, there is lack of clarity. And um, <laughs> there's the Constitution, but inherently what is written after it does not necessarily adhere to it. There is no right. exercising of these pieces of legislation to ensure they get closer and closer to expectation. And what you're left is really just a bunch of leaflets. Yeah. And God knows what the fuck they're supposed to mean. Or let alone how anyone's supposed to do their job around it. Yeah. For, for me, the Constitution should be the base of the state as a whole. Uh, and then when it comes to due process, you'd pass that on to a legislative piece that the DOJ could write themselves and update themselves without contestion until afterwards. Same with the healthcare and shit. I, I think, mm. you know, the basics should be there of what we expect from people. Uh, and it should be noted that this law um, should not be uh, gone against, but it should be very basic in the, in, in the needs of what we need. And then everything else after that, relies on us impeaching people if we think they're fucking stupid. If everybody's elected and everybody's, uh, you know, in a power in which they can lose for doing something stupid, um, people will just think. They don't want to lose their power. They want to they they make sure people are happy. The masses are happy. That's what democracy is. I would agree with that. I think that entire process, I don't think it would necessarily hurt. Um... For as long as there was enough people behind it that a, I mean, hell, you could, you, know, you get 50 people to sign some shit, you just get an impeachment vote up. Boom, boom. Right. What's well, the worst that can happen? I was more thinking something like this. Uh, you don't need to get the people. You go to the DOJ, you pay the fee to make the, uh, the bill request. They would uh, get you to write the bill. They make sure it's good enough. And then it would be passed to a civilian vote, just, you know, publicly. Anybody that comes in and votes, it doesn't matter how many people vote. It could be 20 people. As long as the percentage is based on a, you know, a number that is, is good enough, it would be at least passed to contest, and then the state would look at it. Mm. So you're saying, like, let's say, um, I don't know, uh, Billy Bob is 
currently the mayor, mm -hmm. uh, there is a deep disdain for what they're doing or whatever it is. They pay a fee. They run through the process. It goes up the vote. It doesn't need all the fancy schmancy. Did they do this? Did they do that? Well, it just I'd say it would need a, it would need some sort of like substance, you know. So if we if we have our base constitutional rights of you know no no gross negligence, uh, proper health, all that sort of stuff, anything that would show negligence or a misunderstanding of the people, mm. so it wouldn't necessarily be oh you know you need PC of a crime. It would be you know you need to just show that this person is at least shitty. And if that's accepted, um, then the vote would go through. So it wouldn't have to be anything crazy, but you can't just, you know, you can't, you wouldn't expect people to just vote just to vote because somebody's angry with something. There'd need to be a logic behind it. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure it'd be easy to find that for majority of the people around here right now. Yeah, not wrong. Just not imagine wrong. the head of health over there could write up an uh, impeachment notice because. These assholes over there are only paying them eight hundred dollars an hour, while the pieces of shit over there at the police department are getting four k. Little things like that, I feel like, are enough to at least think, you know, shit. Maybe he is a douchebag, and the people might not like this guy. But at the same time, if this uh, if this health inspector or whoever fucking runs that place is, you know being an asshole and not giving mental health to people, not writing up the right procedures for, you know, uh, psych evals, or they're willing to hand over our medical records for absolutely no reason to the, uh, the PD, then we could also vote them out. It's a cycle of anybody and everybody being somewhat effective as a whole. So it's like the council, but it's a moving council. It's a council that doesn't need to sit at a table to have a discussion. You can put the bill forward, and then the, the, the entire community has the discussion. I, I certainly like that. I Makes think it's a little bit more malleable. Once exactly. a week meetings, I cannot, uh, 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 let alone imagine having to sit through that. But it, it, it's not, the city moves too quick, uh, to be frank. Yeah, the way I see it is this is what makes lawyers and the legal side of things valuable. Every authority and entity would want to have a lawyer ready under them, reading these legislations, reading anything that's passed, making sure things are in trick with the Constitution and making sure their organization themselves are well. It isn't just a lawyer for, you know, a criminal act at that point. It's for every, every business entity, you know, every institution, every uh, entity there is really, the people themselves. Uh... It, it creates that dynamic that a real, I guess, growing state should have. A changeable state. That's the way I'd do it, and I think that's the way that would be most logical and fair for everybody. And I think if we were to say this to, you know, a group of people, uh, or get behind the mayor and tell this to everybody, the only people that would maybe be negatively against this would be some of the uh, the higher command and police in the DOJ. But it would only be half of them, because I've spoken to a lot of them, and I think they all believe, the ones that, that, that like you said, will talk about the law, that don't talk down to you, are the ones that want to see things like this, because they want to, you know, push the boundaries and create things rather than be stuck in limitations and whatever shithole we're in right now. Um. Yeah. No, you're not wrong. What are your thoughts? What, uh, I, I, uh, I feel like the only way for something like that to move forward is, well, look, I'll tell you what my plan is. Um, I've been back and forth on the whole mayoral thing. Mm -hmm. Um, and where I've sort of landed is I, uh, is I need, I cannot just go up myself, but rather it would need to be a, almost a political party. Mm -hmm. In other words, uh, preemptively have other likely candidates in the other seats, uh, to sort of, uh, join hands on a common front. And I don't think there's really much more that I need to campaign for other than transparency and accountability starting with the council itself yes and then having the there, rights of people 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 caring about people 
in a democracy. You think I mean, you'd... That's what the uh, government's supposed to be for. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, this is fucking America. This is where the, the men like money and fortune and fame. You, uh, you think you would do the mayorship yourself? What's the regulations with um, agencies with that? Can you be a part of a legal or DOJ or other, other law enforcement or anything like that if you're running for mayor? No, you would have to uh, put that aside. You can't even run for mayor as a lawyer? No, no, you can, but uh, upon office, you would have to uh, put that aside. Um, so you, you don't lose the bar license, you would just not be able to prosecute? Correct. Mm. I, I think there's been special privileges that have been extended. Um, so, for example... Uh, um, and there's something written about, like, so Cornwood, for example, I believe he's the captain of the sheriff's office, which I be, it's documented that you can't hold, like, rank there. You can't be a high command or something, but somehow he's been able to. Maybe a captain is not high command. I, I don't know. The, the, but, the council literally, yeah, I mean, it says you can't even be in another agency in which would make you prevent you doing your role in the council for the people. And the way I see that really is, uh, I mean, if, if, you're the, if you're in a police department or a, you know, institute itself, it doesn't matter what it is. You're always going to have some form of bias. But I think mm -hmm. there's a reality that that's okay. Um, if you can be impeached and you have the worry of the other opposing factions, then it's naturally right. perceived that way that, you know, you will think more about everybody. And right now, like I said, you know, you're right. The, the, it's very strange with how it is and it doesn't really make sense, but at least if they had that fear in them, I believe it would uh, somewhat counter the issue. Yeah, I agree. In regards so, to running myself... Uh, I told myself from the very beginning, if a better candidate were to step up, um, I would absolutely back them and, uh, stand aside. But right now it's, uh, the only two I'm aware of is Oswaldo and, uh, Kyle Pred. And my understanding of Oswaldo is from way back in the day when he went up against Lang Buddha. I have no idea who that is. He when wants to the, turn uh... Los Santos into Cuba. That's kind of his, uh, been his thing. Well, we can shoot assholes and do whatever we want. Sounds good to me. Be a whole lot worse than fucking North Korea. No wrong. Listen, I thought the same thing. People had even said with me, you know, go appeal. You can run for mayor. You got backing. But the reality is... While we are a face, I think we are people that can push somebody, but the uh, the masses, especially the civilian populace, wouldn't necessarily see us as... Uh, uh, I mean, maybe some would, but... I think the face of uh, the mayorship needs to be... someone more relatable. I don't know if people are going to relate to somebody like me that's... Being in, well, I have been fucked by the government. I mean, that is somewhat fucking relatable, I guess. But our thinking and understanding of everything is very unique and uh, similar. And I don't think people are like that with us. But in saying that, you know, I feel like there's some really good people that are well-spoken and uh, I guess more friendly uh, mm. than people like us. I don't disagree. Um... I think there's another reality. I uh, I have not been around, so yeah. while I may have the backing of uh, various crews, that doesn't necessarily make up the uh, entirety of um, the voting public. Right, but I think you'd be surprised, especially if you get yourself involved in you know more political cases and impeaching and anything that's public. People I see and talk to know of what has happened because I've put forward a, an impeachment request when I knew it was going to get thrown out. But the thing is, these are public. People see this shit. They see me typing in there and saying, this judge is a fucking retard. This judge is a piece of shit. 
you were violating my rights, you were doing this or that. And, and that courtroom up there, you know, listen, I've talked to a few of CG here and there, they popped in. But the reality is there was four or five lawyers there, uh, doctors, uh, you know, p people in uh, the DOJ, whatever. There was, there was like by the end of it, twenty or so people, and, and I was a person that was unknown uh, to the people except for what I put out through those uh, through those systems. So, I think people can find somebody and rally behind them very quick. Is what I'm saying, and I don't think it is wrong to imply that you too would be something that is, you know. Very outspoken and people recognize quickly. And but like I said, there's also the opposite spectrum of that that people will see it and think this guy's a fucking douchebag. And that's why I say, you know, we can get the right side with that. But uh, you know, if we had somebody well spoken, you know, uh, soft understanding that can pass over our message in a much more, I guess, relatable way. Yes. Uh, yeah, I agree. Not so angry because I would likely scream. At anybody that was uh, opposing in what, uh, you know, arguments we would have. And people can argue that without screaming. And, you know, if you don't scream and you say the say what you're saying, they can, they can see that you're controlled. And emotion sometimes isn't the, the best thing to portray in uh, politics, in my opinion. Um, there was a few people I've spoken to. Have you ever spoken to Kid Archer? Yes. Actually, she is someone that I convinced yesterday mm. uh, to join the political front. Interesting. I spoke to her a while, and uh, I believe she used to be a police officer. That's how she knew me, perhaps? I can't remember, but we had a discussion, and we actually argued the law in a way... Well, not argued. We gave our perspective on, uh, on the case itself, and that's how we, you know, became to talk, and I understood her points, and... The way she articulated things was like a human, not a piece of shit. And it's very rare to have people like that in a, in a uh, that are educated, smart, um, willing to say what they want to say, um, but at the same time be, you know, passionate about it without, you know, seeming like a liar or a scumbag or somebody that's, you know, a little rough around the edges like us. I'm not sure if she'd do it honestly, agree. but I feel like somebody like that, in my mm -hmm. opinion, is what people would want. Especially if there's people behind them with the right messages. Um, in, but in saying that, like I said, she had agreed with some of the holes and problems and whatnot as well. So it's not like it was a uh, complete pushback or anything, but there was enough pushback to realize that they are of their own person. Mm. The biggest challenge is the timeline. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, um, it's about three weeks, a little less now. I think two and a half weeks till the Until polls he's open. Kicked out, right? Right. Yeah, I'm thinking yeah. Uh, this man ain't around no more. Nobody sees him. He ain't doing shit. And it says that uh, if he if he ain't around fulfilling his duties, uh, he should be abolished. I feel like maybe just fucking. So somebody needs to post a docket and just see what see what the fuck happens because the the, the reality is I don't think the city should wait two and a half weeks for uh, no. you know it to be stuck in turmoil. We're at a point where the you know there's a lot of a lot of boiling points happening. The flow is is rushing like a river, but we don't want to hit a damn wall and 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 prevent you know uh, the the spread of what is happening throughout the city we we want to make sure it keeps going and 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 we get to continue creating and 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 having a message and and meaning to the people yeah that's something that i've been uh rather confused about uh thus far which is there's been a lot of like it almost feels like people need an entire fucking criminal court case uh, to transpire before something gets pushed out I mean, there's another option, too. If I'm not mistaken, Solomon has not gotten kicked out. So if he was impeached, I would presume Solomon would take his place, at least in the interim. Right. That man's not an idiot. But at least hold the hold the line for an expanded period of time and possibly be even um, get some of this moving. 
you know if there's any other processes when it comes to shit like this where, listen, it might not be impeachment, but if, like, you know, if the mayor's fucking dead, right? There's surely something we can do to make an election happen quicker. And it, and it feels like me, uh, in my opinion, we're in a stance where this guy is in not in existence. So surely uh, it doesn't need to be a criminal charge. We can look at some other shit that's ever happened in America and, you know, maybe talk to the DOJ and see what their opinions are. Maybe they can pass something through to the state and look yeah. at, you know, making something happen earlier. Um, I guess the argument could be made that there's been a dereliction of duty. And mm -hmm. then after the dereliction of duty passes and there's an impeachment where you can make an immediate appeal that there is simply not enough votes on the table to get anything done and that an election uh, is needed immediately. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You know, we just look through the, the, the penal codes, through the Constitution, just see where they've failed and say, hey, listen, we're not trying to push charges. We just want to move things along. They ain't around no more and see what happens. I think, honestly, if it isn't a criminal act in which we uh, try to push, it's just based on, you know, the people as a whole and whatnot, then maybe, you know, something is actionable. I'm sure things like this have been, uh, you know, have happened elsewhere uh, where, where something like this could happen. Maybe the council could even vote to uh, have something, you know. Wait, is there an election council meeting shit today or whatever? Uh, this would be the first time I'm hearing about it. Or is it oh, yeah. Actually, I think you're right. Someone did mention that, uh, that maybe there was a council meeting today. Yeah, um, that's what I was thinking. I, I'm not sure if it is today or it isn't, but maybe it's worth going there and just, you know, if they're around, speaking to them, see what happens. But the city I think, council? Uh, yeah, I mean, if we go in, well, they can ca they can oh, pass the legislation. I, I don't think you can go to those. I think you can only watch oh, it live. Oh, no, no. Yeah, no, we can, uh, we can stand the fuck outside and wait for them to go in there and say, hey, listen, I know you all don't usually do public meetings or that sort of shit, but listen, there's a lot of... Uh, felonious activities, impeachments, and we're at a point where we don't want to... We don't want to have to impeach people or push felonies if we don't need to. We just want the world to work, and... Listen, if you guys go ahead, push legislation so a new mayor can be voted in, um, you know, maybe we can talk to people and get rid of these uh, impeachments hanging over you. The only, uh... <laughs> the only problem is half that board is, uh... have to come from the right person. I mean, even right. yesterday, I had to deal with uh, memes about, like, the name of the news center. Is it National? Is it Los Santos? Uh, right, There's a right, lot of... Right. Uh, well, there's a thing here where people are still misunderstanding in, uh, how a power entity works. Something can be labeled the state building or the national building. It doesn't mean it is necessarily the entire state power that is there. You can have a state park. You can have a national park. That just means that the na the national government would be paying for it. That's why the state roads. Yeah. The authority isn't the same as the building itself necessarily. So that doesn't mean the president's got to go fucking land in the national building up, uh, you know, up up in the district or go to the military base. That just means it is controlled and paid for by the national or the state uh, government at the moment. Well, the thing is, uh, at the end of the day, the answer is not being sought out it's um uh, uh what is it H appeal to hysteria point out some random bird in the sky as a distraction from the important conversation yeah well i mean these guys know they have the uh they're a municipal government and while i say this it's funny that uh, you mentioned it i assume that was from the judges uh you would talk to yeah it was i was getting uh Yesterday I had a, ha a migraine for the first time in three months. Oh yeah, I can understand. Till the next morning. I used to get them when I was uh, uh, a little younger, but uh, generally when I get the hot-headed feeling, I know it's possible that uh, they can come about. Do you get like the eye flashes and the fucking annoying shit too, or just like mad pain? Yeah, it was. Uh, uh, yeah, you could say that. Yeah, it was like the pain on my temples just slowly making to the back of my right eyeball. Yeah, yeah. 
I get uh, I used to get those and yeah, I'd have to sleep in pitch black. But the worst part for mine was I'd know when they're coming because my eyes would have like flashes in them consistently, like flickering through my eyes, and I couldn't see. Everything started to go blurry, and it'd be like that for like an hour, and I'd feel sick and I wouldn't be able to do shit for like two days. Agony. Did your head hurt today? I got better the next day. I mean, most of us due to the fucking foyer conversation. Hmm. Understandable. Understandable. So you know, I, I mean, kept, uh, the entire thing kind of summarized with, "Hey, I'm bringing a draft. There was no draft, and then reopening old wounds and uh, asking for precise examples, the things that I would never have access to." So, wait. You talked to the council or Crane? No, Crane. Hmm, we wrote it right then and there. Yeah, I. Uh, Tried to talk to Bailey and Angel, and I said, "Yeah, I'll have a conversation with you and you and Crane." And then he posted on Twitter saying he'd prefer to milk his prostate or something than to talk. Law. Yeah, I was next to him when he made the phone call. Actually, I heard that. I didn't and know him. what it was. Yeah, some. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't know. So this this is the whole semantics thing. I mean, he's eighty years old. Maybe he does milk his prostate to get it up. I didn't know if he was serious or not. Hard to tell with that guy reading the Constitution and all the legislation he wrote. Come on, buddy. Hmm. Might be the next judge. It could be. Ah, uh, you heard about uh, Angel? She's a prosecutor now. Yeah, I did Special hear about prosecutor. that. That's interesting. Um, I was going to talk to her about it. I feel like uh, what she should do is. Request the authority to create a department that is prosecutors uh, as a whole, like the DA type thing, but I'm not sure how that will end up being perceived if she starts going against the police by herself, so to speak. I, I think the way that she described it was like, say, I had a, I want to bring, I wanted a, the police did something illegal, like discharge mm -hmm. their firearm on, on a, on a client of mine uh well in the past you'd need another officer to press the charges which um caused a an issue uh but now i can bring that case to her and um she could either run it herself or in conjunction with whatever attorneys bring it forward that's another thing it i was confused with it does say that any civilian can push charges in the legend uh in the constitution I don't understand why they think we need to have a police officer to do it. I'm confused with that one. I I think the simple answer here, Soze, is that um, I think that a lot of these things were written and there's a belief of remembering what was written and an expectation that people interpret those words precisely as the one or two individuals behind it. Yeah. And and as a side effect of this, uh, let's just call it arrogance, there's a lot of defense put up as to why don't you get what's in my mind as exactly. opposed to maybe this needs to be clearer and better articulated and better structured. The court document that I refer to the criminal uh, proceedings had things about the DA written in it. Uh, and I looked at the bottom of the page and it said, uh, edited in 2017 or something like that, 2019. I don't know. It was a long time ago. Maybe 2020. Oh, I don't know. It was a long time ago, though. The thing is, this is why I think the entity power is good and legislation in its own entity. Uh, if, if the DOJ uh, has its own uh, legislation branch in the MDT, they can just post all their procedures in there. Everything. And then we know who's responsible for what. And if it's not written in there where we can visually see it, that is their problem. Nobody else to blame. How the fuck am I meant to know what's allowed in a courtroom? I don't even know what I'm allowed to object to. There's no, there's no documentation about anything. But then when we go in there, they say, don't object to this. That's not an objection. This is an objection. Don't argue semantics. And then... They're like, hey, go by. we go by the letter of the law on joyriding, but you, you argue semantics, motherfucker? You're done. Joyriding is a body of text. I mean, uh, semantics is a body of text and, and the meaning in which could be two different things. That is law. 
They are literally telling you not to do law. It doesn't make yeah, any sense. Yeah, no, I, I, oh, I've, I've heard that, but it does my head in. I, um, I would go as far as saying that there are a lot of lawyers and people that have stopped practicing law as well as likely existing judges that would be more than open to um, creating this documentation. It, I, I, there's so exactly. many people that just love writing and, and it, nothing needs to be perfect. It's just someone needs, I, well, I think the skill the set point. is there. It's just not, they're not being empowered. Exactly. Exactly right. Exactly right. And that's, that's what I'm saying. If they have the authority to write their legislation, do whatever they want, it's auto pass. There's no questions. It'll just happen. I don't know why it's held back in there. Their excuses for not having case law right now is bullshit. Crane could go in there, write up a piece of legislation that says, uh, pe people, uh, people oriented case law or vehicle oriented case law or weapon oriented, uh, case law. And then just post every fucking paragraph that defines any resolution. If they've only got four, why the fuck do they need an entire fucking, uh, dictionary worth of fucking, uh, uh, room to, to post this shit. They can just post it in the legislation. I would prefer it all in one post so I can go through it all at once and search through it. It's fucking annoying uh, having to go through each one separately. Wait, for for what? Well, any if there was case laws. Oh, so uh, that actually came up yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, the So there is, it's only available to, I believe, judges, cops, and attorneys. Uh, it's a thing called common law procedure. And inside <laughs> of this, a document created back in February 9th, uh, it's got... Uh, all the case law written in it. The problem is that due to a lack of an some IT shit, uh, it no, uh, P no others can't no. see it. If it's legislation, they post it in legislation. That's what they should. I, what, That's why yes. the other common law well, is in con the the Constitution. So they just I actually make brought that up one. yesterday, and mm -hmm. the answer was something something. I'm just going to say some OCD reason that it can't yes. be in there. I don't know what the answer was. It was a lot of poo poo pee pee. It's every answer when that isn't done is because either it could be done in this way and it's not yet. I'm waiting on somebody. But the reality is there's nothing stopping them from posting common law inside the legislation right now. Literally nothing. Absolutely nothing. One place for everything just kind of inherently makes sense. I mean, I I'd go as far as saying that some of the shit that is in here, because it's like nice, half of this is just useless. Uh, well, what I do is like, I'd reverse how it's done, put the Constitution at the top and then a few important ones there. So then maybe due process, whatever the fuck, yeah. uh, you know, common law. And then everything under that would be legislation that's passed uh, afterwards. And if if all the common law is just in one legislation, because you know you can you can number it like articles, Article One, Two, Three, Four, Five, Six, Seven, Eight, Nine, Ten, you got enough room there. You can just fucking click on the one thing, uh, copy paste it all, and Control F. You can literally just search through whatever you want. You don't. I, you know. Uh, yeah, I absolutely agree. I think um, uh, that in the amount of different documents, it's it's not valuable. It doesn't. It, it makes life more difficult. Exactly. This can be just categorized into a, a handful of things. Exactly. I mean, half of them can be fucking deleted. The anti-mom act, the fucking adoption bullshit, fucking DOC yeah. shit. It should just all be fucking decimated, honestly. I don't even know if there's anything in there I'd give a fuck about. Even with the PCP shit, I'd rewrite that shit in fucking a heartbeat. These assholes. Crane said municipal to you, right? Yeah, I, the the inference that I believe was oh, okay. Look, there, there was hey, part you, of, uh, half the you, reason for that just, migraine was can you, because can you Google I municipal. Could, just tell me what uh, it means. Okay. Just mun municipal government. I'm not trying to be an ass. I just want you to understand on what he's actually said to you and what he's trying to even portray because it doesn't make sense. Those defined as cities, towns, boroughs. Da 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 da. The yeah. inference that he was making was that the law that he creates is a a tier higher than the law that the council would make. Nope. But inherently, um, he's completely you know, wrong. As with many of the statements that I had to 
killed in that entirety of that conversation. There were attempts at making a counter argument, but it's more like hand waving an answer, right? <sighs> Given asked a direct question, and it was a 10 minute hand wave. Think right? about this. If it says in the Constitution, and I have no fucking idea how we even tried to <laughs> try to imply that, just because, like I, like I said earlier, if you're a municipal government, it's just a label. If you're a state park ranger, it's just a label. It doesn't matter what the label is. If it says in the Constitution there's two authorities to write legislation in the same exact way, that is the authority that they have. He is not more powerful than them, and they are not more powerful than him. Legislation is the law, and not either of them. They're passing that through to the state to sign, and it's of equal value. It's a legislative piece. It's like a bill. It gets signed, and it's, it's okayed by the state. It's the same power. There's no difference in those powers. And that, that's exactly what it says in the Constitution. I don't exactly. know why and where this caveat that was attempting to be portrayed was coming from. I don't know. I don't and see it written anywhere. This is the entire thing. This is the entire premise of everything. I feel like if you put a hole in something, instead of them being like, yeah, we could fix that, because the reality is uh, Crane could go right, right now legislation that says Blaine County is now under the control in terms of law enforcement via the sheriff. Um, whether or not they do the extra jurisdictional pieces for the uh, municipal government side and create another entity up there where he can make his legislation, that'd be different. But he has the power. Uh, so does the council. They have power from the state in equal ways, just in different ways. It, it really bothers me that they actually do not understand the difference here. And and when I read the Foyer Act yesterday, there is Ovin from memes in there uh, without him actually understanding that he was doing exactly that yesterday without without even knowing it. It's painful to hear this, honestly. Uh, it ha well, that's where my migraine came from. I The amount of times, like I said, I was asked for a particular example. Like, I'm not going to entertain... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll give you an example. There is mm -hmm. currently a client that I had that had I look like a vampire him tied to a crime scene based on DNA that is currently not in his profile. I have no means by which to obtain said profile. I cannot outwardly blurt who the individual's name is for reasons. Wait, wait, wait. And so somebody's using DNA that isn't connected. I'm, I'm confused. Can you, can you elaborate on the, the DNA part? Sure. Um... Someone, uh, one of my clients, well, soon-to-be clients, mm -hmm. uh, had a item left at, like, a, a robbery right. tied back to him, despite the fact that his DNA was never acquired. Okay. It's never been on record. It's never been taken, et cetera, et cetera. The only way which I can even prove that this has taken place is with a FOIA of his profile. Um, and... Uh, but the thing is, Wait a second. I'm being told that it's an internal document. Why would they not be able to get the... They need to articulate the PC, no? Like, how how have they done that if they don't show the evidence and the matching oh. DNA? <laughs> Let me... Because, um... Hmm. How do I put this? Uh, when you're born in Los Santos, there might be some, uh, you know... Unproven... DNA ties. Right. Am I, so am I making you, sense? You mean your citizen ID? I, I, I don't know how they do it. What uh, what weapon was it, out of curiosity? Or what was it? It was a repair kit. They found his DNA on a repair kit. Yeah. Inside a house. Yeah. No. Uh, he handed it to a cop to repair his vehicle because uh, he wanted a chase, and it got tied back to him. Wait, wait, wait. He looked at the DNA on the fucking repair kit while repairing his car? Oh, no, after the fact. So the, the client got uh -huh. away, and they're like, oh, wait, the guy gave me a repair kit. Let me go run the DNA on this and tie it back to the guy. Uh, and now there's an active warrant for him, 
but now I need him to turn himself in so I can show that they that what the fuck they did. So what exactly? No, I mean, if there's a warrant, uh, you go look at the Constitution yeah. over there, my friend. Uh, you get a dollar yeah. off him, and then you go show the Constitution to them where it says any uh, court proceeding that's a part of due process or whatever, which a warrant would be because now he's wanted to be charged, the document needs to be shared to both parties, and if they don't do it, it's in breach of the Constitution. As soon as he pays you I one dollar, you're his party. Oh, for fuck's oh. sake. While I fully agree with you, Soze, I've been fighting to get this, but based on that's my second battle, is that according to uh, Crane himself, uh, warrants are internal documents, and until that individual turns himself in, um, I cannot get that information. Well, uh, a warrant isn't lawful. Uh... Unless it's being passed out to those people. I mean, it says it in their own documentation, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna go read that shit. I'm pretty sure, uh, again, this is one of those things where the law bends in a way because it is so vague uh, in their direction. But when you put a hole uh, in it and say, hey, look, my entire fucking meteorite fits through this gap. Uh, can we fix it? They're gonna say no. Uh, it means oh, this know, instead. Yeah, let me give you my number. Send me a text. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go run some errands and whatnot. Okay. Yeah. No worries. I'll shoot you a text in a little bit. You take care. Did I already get his number. I got it right. Um. Wait. Oh, it is the right number. So you can't get a warrant and evidence. It's a part of the due process, though. If there's a f if there's something submitted, uh, that 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 can um start charges on you, then I'm pretty sure uh, court proceedings will follow a standardized judicial process. Is a warrant a court proceeding? Chat, please tell me. It's a it's a warrant for arrest, right? Has to be. Yeah, it's a court order. It has to be. Which means, it says right here, it is required that all parties of proceedings have a correct submission of documentation and a summary of the request. So, if there's a submission for a warrant, it doesn't matter if they're arrested or not, it literally says right here that you should get it. It doesn't say anything otherwise. I'm fucking, I don't know. I didn't get that one, dude. Um, all right. Hey. So oh. I, I went down this, uh, line of thinking three days ago and I was shot down, uh, by the justices. Uh, which, if uh, there's which a warrant, uh, shutting this down by the way, uh, crane, this was of last course, Saturday and then yesterday. You find a hole um, in it. Okay. The argument was pretty simple. 
how do you do a bench review if you don't know what's in the fucking warrant? Why would you like? And they're like, well, just tell us to look at it. And we've always reviewed them. But how the fuck do you know to review it if you don't know what's inside of it? And um, that's kind of the end of it. It's an internal document and they don't have to give a shit until well, they turn themselves in. They, they do need to give a shit because they're basing this on some bullshit law that, that was maybe, you know, five years ago. This was the problem with these yep. motherfuckers. Everything they do when there is something that is questionable will imply that it's some sort of shit from fucking five years ago. It's so fucking frustrating. Don't write a constitution and then say it isn't law. I swear to God, I'm meant to be calm and cool right now. My oh, oh I popped. Oh, trust me, I, I popped off yesterday. I uh it's logic is emotion is greater than logic maybe, sometimes. Uh, because maybe you should just talk to another justice because just because he's willing to break the constitution doesn't mean they all are. This might be a good Bailey conversation, to be honest. Yeah, I mean he wanted me to put a lot of documents together and actually send them to the state, so Yes, it likely is. He's a very sensible person. And honestly, I feel like talking to even Angel over time, uh, she too understands there's issues that need to be resolved. And I think uh, the, the issue there with her is she was not necessarily uh, high-ranking or very well understanding of the procedures and whatnot. But the problem is... If she gets trained by people that are fucking stupid and doing shit that they were doing five years ago instead of following the law that they wrote fucking six months ago, they'll turn. And it's the same as what I think has happened with Jackson's, Adams, and others. But luckily for us, you're right, yeah. Uh, Bailey might be the choice, but, you know, give him a call, see what happens. 100%. Okay. I appreciate it, Jose. Yeah. Take care. Bye. Motherfuckers.